Hi, good morning. I am here, Donna DeBerry, with Relax and Paint. And I wanted to share with you today um, a little bit about, um, I really don't want to talk about seasons, but I am in a good season. And the season um, right now, when I'm recording this, is um, during the Christmas season. And lots of giving and caring and thinking about others and stress, a lot of stress because we're worried about, you know, paying the bills and getting nice gifts or to our loved ones or wanting to do something special for them. And one of the things that um, I want you to think about is more about giving our time and giving a special message to somebody who you care about. And I just want you to know some of you don't know me well at all, and many of you are following me because you followed me for a long time, but um, you guys keep me sane. With seven children, 28 grandbabies, I can get, be very stressed and worried, and the beauty about painting is we can lose our little bit of that stress by taking a deep breath and relaxing and think, I have creativity in there. I want you to know you can do this. I'm going to put down simple steps that will help you step by step be able to do something you never thought you could do. And if you're out there painting with me and you've done what I'm going to do with you today, which is sunflowers, if you've done sunflowers, you probably have if you painted with me before, I'm going to go step by step over how a sunflower is the total meaning of one stroke, it shows you in every stroke that you make, all right? So, good morning, let's get going, and I want you to have a wonderful day. I want you to just, if you're not painting right now, I want you to think about, I can't wait to carve out a little bit of my time to paint with Donna, all right? Thank you. Help me share, share what we're doing, and ask your friends to subscribe, and on the sites that you're on and it makes a big difference because then I can be on more teaching longer and more lessons. All right. Thank you. So let's go to the overhead camera. And there we are. So I want to come down and work with a couple brushes here. Uh, these are my my new designer brushes. All right. My, actually they're called Donna Degree signature brushes and You'll see that here. They're, folk, they're my one stroke signature brushes. This is my half inch scruffy. All right. This is all natural hair. And we want to stroke with this with it being dry. All right. Then, just see, make sure I come up here. Then I have my 12 flat. And this is a 16 flat. I'm going to use this for my leaves. But I want to just show you a really quick step. I don't want it to be long. I want you to enjoy just practicing this over and over. And what we're going to be using is multi-surface paint. So multi-surface, let's get a, another bottle that's brighter maybe. Can you see that brighter? Here we go. It is multi-surface, folk art multi-surface, metal, wood, glass. It tells you like it goes on anything. Um, on most uh, projects and it's got like a sealer in it so it's really great all right so indoor and outdoor now i put all of these out instead of my double loader just put them on the foam plate today because uh what i want you to be able to see that we're going to do we're going to take and i'm going to kind of split this like you crack an egg and right kind of in the middle not side to side so some people think you put uh, the one color on this side and one color on that side, and that's not true. So I want you to see this up close so you'll know what we're doing. All right, we're going to put the burnt sienna or Pueblo, depending on what color you have, on one of this dry brush. Now I fluffed this brush. You have to fluff the brush to get it started. I need to stop and tell you that. Hello. You're going to take and fluff these out. So it looks like an oval makeup brush, okay? You pull it out so it's fluffy because when it's in the package, it's flat, okay? Then I'm going to come over here and then the other, I only want, see, I want two-thirds this rusty burnt sienna look and one-third 
licorice. Okay. This can be Pueblo or burnt sienna. Okay. Now, this is what I want you to do. I'm on scrapbooking paper because many people say, what are you painting on? All right. Now, I want you to see that I'm, I just want a little bit of licorice because sometimes the licorice get, takes over too much. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to start here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm giving a curve. And the more you use the scruffy, the better the scruffy you'll get. I went and got more paint. So I've got this curve up here on the sunflower. I want to do a big sunflower. Then I'm going to come back down across the burnt sienna and touch the licorice again. So, boy, you can't see up there very well. Let me show you. Huh. It's supposed to look like a, it looks really bright to me, but maybe not to you. It's supposed to look like a chocolate donut with chocolate icing. There you go. That's a little bit better. Okay. So I want the sienna that brown to be down here, brown to be in the middle, and the black is like dark chocolate icing. All right. So now that's the first step. And it's, you can see how big it is to my hand. All right, so it's about three fingers across on the width. Now I'm going to take the 12 and I'm going to dampen the brush first. And we're going to lay it on a paper towel. All right, I'm going to lay it there. And then I'm going to come between these two colors. So we have daffodil yellow and yellow ochre. And I usually work my paint brush in and work it in really well like this first. But on this right here, we just want to pick up thick paint, lots of paint, all right? And you're going to keep picking up. Every time I come away, if I don't show you this, I'm coming here and I'm stroking. See, it's a big glob of paint because I want to grab this wet, push down hard, and stand up, all right? Now, that's more licorice than I want, but as I come around, It'll pick up less. Now I'm going to pick up some brown. I can come here again, push hard, turn up, turn and stand up. Now what I want is each one of these have to have a little bit of streaks in it. This is a perfect example of one stroke painting because you blend, shade, and highlight in each stroke. Now what I want you to see is as I'm grabbing this paint, you can see I needed more paint. It got dry. I'm grabbing a teeny bit of that edge and I'm, I'm standing up and going to a point. All right. Now you don't want it to be a pen where, where it all circles one way, but one way to help that not happen is I'm going to just come around now, push hard, stand up and slide to a tip. Now see how it naturally gives you those pretty streaks. Now that's why you don't want to go in and get a ton of licorice because they'll make it very dark. Push, stand up, and lift. See how it shades automatically for you? Now, what I want to share with you, oops, I got a glob there. What I want to share with you is that most techniques, they are having you stroke in the bright yellow. Then they're going to have you um, come back and shade with the darker yellow. And then, they're going to come back with a little liner brush and do streaks, but we make it all happen at once. Now, I've got a little problem here, so I want to show you. As I'm talking to you, I'm letting some of this dry, and so there's no streaks to be made. So what you're going to do is you're going to just, I reloaded some, um, I came over here and just picked up some burnt sienna, and I'm repouncing a little bit of wet burnt sienna because you might be a lot slower than I am when you're when you're first starting out. So I got both the yellow again. So this is the beauty of one stroke. You can go right back in here, get the wet paint and pull out. See, I can go right back over those strokes. But see, I grabbed a little bit of the brown. A little bit, a little bit. And I could also put a little bit, a shorter one on top here and there. 
All right, but see, you don't see that stroke. So look, I pick up more yellow and then I can see the stroke. And if this gets too dark, like if this one's pretty dark, I can grab a little bit more, make a um, little small petal there, or I just grabbed a teeny bit of green. Look at this. You have a couple of fresh petals that are just starting that are new growth. All right. Now, what happens, that's pretty quick, right? What happens is that now I messed up my shape. You see the shape of the sunflower? It's all lopsided. So this is what we do. We come back here and I reload my brush. I have three different sizes of these scruffies. One's a little small one that you just use for centers. You can use these for clouds and teddy bears and all kinds of technique. Okay, so I'm going to try to come up here so you can see it better. Oops, sorry. I'm going to come here and I'm going to repounce to clean up where we went into the petal, into the center. All right, I'm going to make sure that I have plenty of brown in the middle. All right, then I'm going to, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now come back around. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and touch the other side. All right, so this licorice goes all the way around in a full circle. And your brown would be all the way along here. Now what normally happens is you've got to make this absolutely perfect stroke. And then you have to take your liner and you have to come and then splatter little teeny dots all along here. But those dots with the scruffy brush are already there. Okay. So we can make a sunflower very quickly. I just want to show you that I'm going slow so you can see. All right. Now when you're done, say, let me do one more here. Let's say I want to do a little bud. I'm going to pounce the top of the bud because you're looking at the side view and it's just opening up. Okay. So I have brown around the top. All right. Then I'm going to come back to my yellows. I've got daffodil and yellow ochre. And I'm going to pull. Now watch this stroke. It's real important. It's a flat stroke where you flat pressure, stand up and turn and slide all right so push lift now i got that really dark but i'll show you what i'm going to do push and lift wipe off some of that dark grab a little bit push turn lift push turn stand up and left see now i can just put a layer over where it's gotten really dark and it'll just look like la layers of petals coming from that center. Okay. Now, so this is a little partially open bud, right? Okay. Now, I usually don't have to repounce that. That's looking okay. But I'm going to take the scruffy now and I'm going to, I pass it on the paper towel a little bit and I'm going to tap just at the corner, at the end actually. See, just at the end of my brown, the sienna color, right at the end of that sienna end of the brush right there. Okay, now watch what happens here. I'm going to tap ever so lightly. on top of this super wet paint. Okay, and make a little C shape. So it's just a highlight. All right, well, that's not showing up too good. So I'm gonna go get some of that bright yellow. There we go. A little bit of the bright yellow. And let me get some more. So I'm just tapping. Tapping it into the brush. Oh, my goodness.
Okay, so just get a little bit of that crescent moon shape. Okay, so I'm going to put that brush down and now I'm going to go to my 16 flat and I'm going to come right here. See the sheen in that paint? So it's got a beautiful sheen in it. I'm going to let that center dry better. I had too much paint on that brush so it didn't come out as bright as I wanted to do it. These are the other size scruffies. All right, so I can maybe just get the, just pick up a little bit of the light yellow. No, it is definitely just too, too wet. So I will come back and lighten this up a little bit later. All right. The beautiful thing about what I'm showing in you is that you can keep working with it so you get it just like you want it. I really like this highlight to be a pretty bright. I use yellow ochre usually, but I was trying to use a brighter yellow. And the reason that I ain't even having a problem with that is because I had so much paint on the brush. Well, not from the scruffy, so I should have just used less. All right, so we're going to wet this 16 flat, and we're going to come right here, and I'm going to go in between the two. Now, I told you on, on the yellow, the two yellows, you're doing half and half, and they got messed up right there, the puddles from doing the scruffy brush, but I want you to see on here, you decide if you want it mostly dark green, mostly the yellow, uh, mostly sap or sap green, or mostly daffodil yellow. I want it kind of a little bit more green and then our yellow. All right. So then I'm also going to show you that I can put down a little bit of floating medium. All right, that's the fluff that's inside paint with no pigment, but it's definitely not water. And this is going to make it move smoother for me. All right, so I'm going to come up here up on my chisel of my brush, and I'm using my little finger to guide me. Touch, lean, pull. All right, now watch this. You're going to lay the brush down at an angle, slide, and stand up. Now that is exactly those petals, but on the petals, I'm doing it flat, push down hard, stand up and turn. Okay, but many people don't like that flat edge. So I do it more, I start it more on an angle instead of flat, but you want it flat when you're pulling each one of those out of there. So on the, everybody to work in my warehouse painting all my tinware with me, um, we would teach them sunflower first because then they all learn these leaves really quickly. So these are the, this is the words that you need to think about. You're going to touch, pressure, turn slightly, and slide to the point. All right. So it's just like that. Now I want to show you a sunflower leaf. All right. So I do this. <clears throat> kind of like <clears throat> a kite, not a diamond, but look at that. That's the upside down kite. You can see that because when I was in Holland teaching, they couldn't get this shape. And I, and you could also say it's like a Christmas tree going that way. All right. Now what's going to happen, get more of my paint on here, is that I'm going to start up my line here. I'm going to slide out and go past that line and come back to the middle. Out, back, out, 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 and then. So what we're doing actually, I'm going to have you closer over here. What we're doing is we're making loops. All right, now watch this. I'm going to lay, now that side of the brush has all the paint off, but we still have it on this side of the brush. So if I'm laying in here, I'm going to loop it out, loop it out, loop, 
See, I stop in the middle. How many of you are breathing? I want you to take a deep breath and look how fast you can make a leaf like that. All right, so let's do another one here. This way I can do a, a Y. Okay, like this. Now watch that. I can come out here and loop, 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 and then go down. All right, same thing over here. More paint, lots of paint. Loop, 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 loop. And then I'll slide to the tip. So the beautiful thing about this, guys, is turn it on, do a stroke with me, turn it off while you're stroking, and then come back on. Okay. Isn't that kind of fun? So I want to show you exactly. Be sure to clean your brushes real good, guys. Real good. You don't want any of that paint left right in this ferrule. Okay. So I'm going to make sure that I have those all cleaned up. No paint in them. And I'm going to get my scruffy again. And I'm just, I should have done this before. See this? I'm not happy. I'm going to grab some gold so y'all can see the brown. I'll put a little bit more gold in here. So you see the brown from the from the black with this lighting in here, I guess. And let me show you. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to repound. Not that I needed to, but I don't think y'all can't see what I want y'all to see. There. Yay. All right. And over here, I'm going to put that highlight at the top. Okay. So then you get that nice pretty highlight there. Okay, so now I can just get my yellow. I'm going to pounce it into there and then go back. Oh, there we go. And tap. There. So I have a highlight there. See that? Pretty fun. Okay, you have to show me. Come to one straw, Donna Dewberries with an S official one stroke group and show me what you did with your sunflowers okay and you can make those other colors and they still look like a flower okay all right thank you guys take a deep breath enjoy your day bye bye